Let me tell you, this year's been pretty wild so far. First off, I am no longer jobless. I've had this job for about a month now, so this means I might be able to get some really nice audio equipment soon, because all I have now is the 60 euro USB microphone. It's okay, but it can be better. And yeah, life is pretty busy now, but I'm still managing. And guess who got a new keyboard? Trust GXT834, a budget one. It is way softer compared to my old compact KB9963, which required immense force to press a key, and you had to press it all the way down too. This thing just goes like halfway and it's super duper soft, which is, I think, amazing for like FL Studio, because I mean, check this out. Also, it is almost summer, unless you're in the southern hemisphere. My goodness, look at these clouds. Pretty nice, aren't they? Uh, days are averaging at about 28 degrees Celsius, and I can't wait for my preferred 33 degrees Celsius in July. That stuff is good, especially if you're in the shade and there's like a little bit of a breeze. Absolutely enjoyable. I do have to apologize to all the winter enjoyers in the audience, because I absolutely cannot stand anything below 15 degrees Celsius. I don't like winter, okay? It's not winter's fault, but I just don't like it, so I enjoy summer. I also haven't seen snow since 2012, so like, I have literally no reason to enjoy the winter here. Maybe if I moved up north, but who has time for that? Anyway, I've been cooking a whole lot, and I really freaking love cooking, let me tell you. Uh, check out all these eggs, pizzas, and chicken stuff I've made. My destiny will be in the basement for a very good while, cause guess what, that's exactly where I cook! Guys, there are rats in here, just so you know. But that's probably fine. Imagine that, huh? Ooh, cool, something is staring at me, I should stare back. Now, quick game review. So, BeamNG Drive. Absolutely love this game. I'm a huge enjoyer of rally racing, uh, street racing, circuit racing, whatever. I freaking love it, especially rallying, though. This game really makes me want to spend like 700 marks or so on a Logitech G920 or whatever I can get over here. This game is a 10 out of 10 for sure. Deep Rock Galactic. Excellent co-op game, I absolutely love mining. It's probably my most favorite thing to do, similar to how I absolutely love just spending a lifetime digging holes in Terraria. I had to subtract one though, because it's on Unreal Engine 4, and I have a personal stigma against that engine. They could have written their own SMH, am I right? <laughs> Too bad I wasn't recording that. Ah, uh, just kidding, it's a 10. It's a 10. Blade of Darkness, uh, a fascinating little fantasy RPG that seems to have gone completely under my radar somehow. It's absolutely enjoyable, it has a cool dismemberment system, even if the game is like super unforgiving and janky. It has Doom 3 style stencil shadows, so that automatically makes it an 11 out of 10. It's really nice. Also, the way it does water is really cool, like the reflections in the water. Normally, games would do like a mirror, which is an upside down copy of the scene. But this game takes it a step further. Um, basically, what it does is when it's rendering that underwater part of the scene, I mean the, the mirrored part, it basically applies a vertex wobble to like the entire scene down there. And it's like really noticeable, but it's, it somehow works. It's pretty cool. They did this without shaders or anything, no post processing on a, on a frame buffer or anything. That's pretty cool. Speaking of, you know, graphics shenanigans and all of that, it's time to talk about game engine development. In August 2022, I talked about a retro FPS engine that I was working on. In other news, uh, some more work has been done in my retro FPS engine. It has a basic plugin system now, so that's pretty neat. Um, there's still no rendering code, so yeah, that's gonna have to wait until late September. Well, that one is called Burictech X. Now I'm working on something called Elegy, which is in C Sharp instead of C++. The idea is generally the same, though. I just want a gold source or a source-style engine with retro graphics and strictly nothing more than that. Now, you might be thinking, oh, this guy had to restart from scratch, it's gonna take even longer this time, but actually, no, I have made more progress in Elegy in a few months than I 
did with Burek Tech in a whole year. And that is currently thanks to Godot. I am doing this weird reverse approach where I'm building the engine's front end, like a game SDK and then an engine around it, and later I'm slowly gonna be replacing the backend systems, like physics, rendering, and so on. Uh, you'll see what I mean uh, in, a, in a year or so. And yeah, trust me, I know what I'm doing. I also have some neat screenshots to share, and oh, guess what, I also wrote my own map compiler for this. It's not BSP, it's gonna use octrees, which are better suited for my use case, at least I think. It's really up to experimentation, like figuring out what works best. Uh, but anyway, I will keep you all updated in a separate video series for this one. There's lots of interesting stuff. And I think that's about it for this edition of Status 456. Uh, I don't know what else to tell you. Oh yeah, Half-Life SDK program, yeah, yeah, so... Um, I think the current schedule is like one to two months per video. Yeah, I'd like that to be faster, but honestly, I'm happy enough that we reached the weapons chapter. There is so much cool stuff just waiting to be made there, and the responses to my posts were amazing. We got lots of good material there, so hell yeah, I love y'all for that, and for everything else so far. But yeah, that's about it for now. I just wanted to let y'all know I'm alive and doing well, and I hope the same goes for you. I'm just going through this period of huge changes in life, you know, getting used to work and all. Either way, we will see each other in Status 456 July or maybe August 2023. So yeah, have a good one everybody.